everyone, Daisy here with another layout for Confessions of a Paper Attic Cut Files. This is the exclusive video for the International Scrapbooking Day weekend events, and I am doing a Use Your Scraps layout. So starting out this video, I'm going to show you how I alter my um, cut files, because a couple people have asked me. So I just opened up the file. Unfortunately, my silhouette does this weird thing every now and then where it doesn't show the cut file. Um, but I'm just using the trace function to trace the cut file and then I'm removing that background noise. Then I'm going to um, highlight the cut file, release the compound path. I'm just gonna zoom in here so you can see better what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna click on the inside parts of the rainbow, cause I want to remove them. I'm not using this, I'm gonna use this a little bit differently. And so I don't want the, tr um, like the traced outline of the cut file. I want this to just cut out the piece that I want. So I remove all of the inside pieces. And this is how I do it if I'm going to be backing a cut file and I just want my silhouette to cut it out. You're removing that outline of the shape. Um, and so it's just going to cut that solid shape. And so that's what I wanted for this layout. Um, I didn't want the outline this time. This is called Rainbow Trio, and this is actually part of Virginia's class that's available in the um, Etsy shop. And there is a sale going on. It's 25% off um, the classes as well as the cut file. So it's definitely a great time to purchase that. But this is, I just, I love this cut file so much. And I was going to use um, one of the other ones, but I just was drawn to this one. So I went with it. So now because I am doing rainbows, you know, and there's different colors to each layer of the rainbow, I decided to highlight each one of the rainbows um, and its parts in different colors so that I could um, space them out on my cut mat or my cut, yeah, my cutting mat appropriately. So I ended up with the colors where I wanted them to be. And I also decided because I am going to be using this as not a solid like background piece that I wanted to remove all of those little pieces from this one rainbow. I loved them and I wanted to leave them in but I didn't want to deal with all of the little pieces so I just took them off. And so now I am just going to kind of click and drag all of these rainbow pieces so that they fit into a more contained area. And I'm gonna be using scraps of paper. So I'm trying to make it so that, um, like that first part is only in a three by four space. So then I will cut my scrap to a three by four size to cut it out of. The next one is a three by three. The last one is actually a three by five. And I'm going to include um, two of them in that part. And then I just keep spacing them out evenly. And I'm looking at my layout now and I think I'm actually missing a piece somewhere. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Um, so anyway, I'm just spacing them out the best I can, um, moving them around, figuring out like what's going to fit best where and how I can um, add some of the pieces together to kind of because I wanted to reuse the patterns for like the um, raindrops and so I wanted to make sure that I could get them into at least a few of the different color spaces. And then the next part is just me um, sending it to my silhouette. And then it's gonna cut it out and then we will come back through the magic of YouTube um, with my cutting map. So these are all of the pieces that I cut out. These are the scraps that I used. I picked out nine different scraps because there was nine different groupings of these rainbows. And um, I tried to do kind of a variety of colors and I don't know, I'm happy with the ones that I picked. 
I just pulled them out of my scrap bin, kind of, like I said, trying to make sure that the colors are all represented. Um, I don't have any red, because I don't actually have a lot of red scraps, but I also, red isn't my most favorite color, so I just left it off. Instead, I did two purples, because purple is my favorite color. And I also like blue a lot, so. And that's the great thing about this, is you can pick and choose whatever you want to use, so. Now I'm just trying to paste them back together. I am using, I do have my Silhouette software still open so that I can see where the, the pieces are supposed to go. And I do keep them in the correct order that I have them here. I do change where the uh, raindrops are going, but that doesn't really matter. And then I also used a second cut file and this is also from the same class and it's, <clears throat> sorry, it's the rainbow title piece. And it's um, it's kind of a twofer. So you there's the block kind of outline of the letters and then inside is the letters being cut out. And I was gonna use the, the like black squares like that, um, but that was just too much. So I decided to take that off. And I'm just gonna use the inside um, like font piece for my title. And so I'm just peeling these apart. And when you're popping things out, if they haven't, um, cause every now and then, like I'll get a little spot where probably there's like a piece of paper stuck to my mat or my mat was a little bit dirty. If you're having problems popping them out, be sure that you pop your cut file out from the bottom so that it's popping up instead of popping it down. And that way you will minimize the amount of like the little paper like shredded pieces or little paper hairs I guess if you want to call it that um, like the perforation kind of edges you'll minimize the amount of that that's left on the cut file part that you want to use um, and it will leave more of that on the like scrap piece that you're going to be throwing away. So I decided to use this photo of it's a photo from a long time ago of my son and my youngest daughter and he's just giving her a hug and they're cuddling on the couch and watching TV or something and it's just super duper cute and this is actually a 5 by 5 photo um, and it you know it's a large photo with a lot of kind of dead space in it because they take up such a tiny portion of this picture so I have plenty of room to overlap which I want to do with my rainbows and so where you see them now is kind of where they're going to end up for embellishments I'm pulling out the new Vicki Booten color story um, die cuts and an, an ephemera pack I have both of them and I don't know, I'm just pulling things out that I think match with the color scheme that I have kind of going on and that I think will be uh, look nice kind of layered up together. I want it to go up um, where I put that clip right there. And I was thinking about using that little like uh, banner piece, but I don't end up using that. It's just not quite right. And I'm going to play around with a couple options here. I actually really do like that green um, circle that says New Day. But I do find uh, something else that has green on it that I like a little bit better. So, I'm just going to keep playing around with that until I'm kind of happy with how it looks. And so that's that little piece. It's got green on it. It says this here and it just warms my heart. This picture does. I absolutely love it. And so I'm going to try to add like the rainbow colors that I have in the rainbows to that cluster up there. And those are the four things that end up layering up there. So now like I, you know, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure what I want to do. I'm not sure about my title. I really like that you color my world um, die cut piece. So I was thinking, well, maybe I should use that as my title instead of what I had originally planned. 
And so I pushed everything off and I'm like, okay, we're just going to start with a fresh white piece of cardstock and go from there. So I'm starting with the outline and then I'm going to pull my photo in and I decide that it needs some layers behind it and I want to also pop it up on some fun foam. So I go back into my scraps and I find this scrap of paper from Amy Tangerine Picnic in the Park and it's one of my favorites. So it's got this beautiful script on one side with a lot of fun like family type words and then on the other side it is a rainbow stripe. So I'm going to cut a chunk out here and then I'm going to layer the rainbow stripe kind of at an angle just like that and I wanted it peeking out of all of the sides just a little bit and so I'm just going to stick that down and then I'm going to pop the whole thing up on some fun foam. And I want the photo to be to uh, to be straight. Sorry, it's about my bedtime, so it's getting a little harder to talk, I think. And so I make sure the photo is straight, and then I'm going to add um, some foam behind all of the rainbow pieces, um, where it it's not because it's going to be overlapping the photo, which is popped up on some fun foam. You got to support the pieces of the rainbow that aren't overlapping the photo so that they don't collapse down. So I'm going to stick some of those underneath each one. And this is foam that I just get at Walmart um, in the kids art section. It's cheap. I think it's like five dollars. It however is not acid safe so if that is something that concerns you I would definitely not use it. I would get some um, different foam adhesive so I'm just going to work on layering these up and while I do that I want to welcome, welcome you to my exclusive video. This is only going to be available to um, the members of the Confessions of a Paper Attic group. This weekend we have a lot of things going on. So every hour, every couple of hours, one of the design team members is going to be um, introducing a new video or live scrap or challenge. And there is a chance to win some prizes. Like I said before, there's some great, um, there's a great sale going on. So you can pick up all of the cut files that you see that you're interested in. And it's just going to be a lot of fun. Now you do have to remember that most of the times and dates posted are going to be in the New Zealand standard time. So you need to be aware of what your time zone is versus theirs. So right now I am posting, It's this video is gonna go up 5 p.m. on May 1st, which is May 2nd for everybody in New Zealand. So you gotta be aware of your time zones because if you turn in your entries for some of the challenges a day late, it won't count. So as well as with the um, the coupon code but Virginia is based in New Zealand so it's you know easier for her and it's really it's not that hard to kind of convert the time you just have to be aware that okay they're a day ahead of us so I need to get my stuff in a day early so and I will have links down below um, well you probably came here from the Facebook group since it's an exclusive video but I have a link down below for the shop as well so you can check that out So now I'm just working on my title. So I my title is going to be Be the Rainbow in Someone Else's Cloud because to me it looks like my daughter was having like a hard time or something and my son was giving her a hug to make her feel better. So I think that's just a great thing um, and I love the title. So I'm using these thickers that came out um, like a year ago. They're called See the Good and half of them are like a black mm, like cardstock topped kind of thing and the other ones are sparkly glitter and I absolutely love the sparkly glitter so I had to use them so someone is um, in the sparkly glitter and then I'm using these other like scripty ones called Aster and if I had to guess I would say these came with like a crepe paper collection or Maggie Holmes collection 
um, to spell out the word cloud. And yes, I did have to look up how to spell else's because it just did not look right to me at all. So just working out where I want my little um, raindrops to go. And then I was thinking that top corner seemed a little bare. So I'm like, hmm, I brought that little banner piece back in and that wasn't working. And I just, yeah, wasn't liking anything. So I go and I pull out, well, first I'm going to glue these things down so that they don't move when I move my layout out of the way, because I'm going to pull out my little We Are Memory Keepers Revolution um, die cutting machine. And I'm going to use um, some Ellie Studio embellishments, little um, tag die cut pieces. What are they called? <laughs> dies. I'm going to use the little dies to cut out a little banner out of that rainbow stripe paper that I put on the background of my photo. So here's my little machine. This thing is tiny. It only cuts like, I think the width of it is like three and a quarter inches or something. So I'm very limited in what die cuts I can, or yeah, dies I can buy to use. Um, but I am getting a few and I, these, um, tabs, I bought the matching stamps for them. And so I thought that they would be super handy, um, to have the dies for them. And then I run it through using the embossing plate instead of the, um, cutting plate. So I have to fix that. And this machine, I do not recommend buying it, um, Regular dies will not do not work very well. Like you can see my cutting like the bottom cutting plate is totally chewed up from using regular dies through it. So it's a little disappointing. So now I'm just sticking down these little die cuts um, so that they don't move around. I thought I had stuck them down and then they shifted when I moved the paper, but I'm going to stick uh, just the rainbow stripe one up there. I was thinking about using the other tab too, but just the rainbow stripe one needs to be up there. And then that makes me happy. And then I accidentally hit the button, but I add sequins and that's about it. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Again, be sure you stay tuned for all of the other um, design teams challenges and enter a few of them. And I will see you again next time. Bye.